One of the biggest lies that has ever come out of the forgiveness space is this common phrase that we should forgive and forget. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you just how damaging forgiving and forgetting actually is and how it might well be preventing you from moving forward with your forgiveness journey. But in order to do that, I need to introduce you to James. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you would have definitely seen James around before, but if not, then let me explain to you why understanding more about James and his childhood will explain why forgiving and forgetting is a damaging concept. James had a really difficult childhood. He grew up in a household with an abusive and alcoholic stepfather. His father would often come home drunk late at night and take out his frustrations on him, his mother, and his two sisters too. He would scream and swear at them all until one day he became physically violent and he attacked James simply for being 10 minutes late past his curfew. And because of this, James was actually forced to move out of his home because his mother decided to choose his stepfather over him. And her reason behind this was because she didn't want James's sister to grow up without a dad. As a result, James grew up feeling rejected by the one woman in his life he thought he could count on. And because of this, he developed a lot of self-doubt and low levels of self-esteem. And he started thinking and believing that he must be unlovable if his own mother wouldn't choose him when it mattered most. Throughout his teens and early adulthood, he felt ashamed for having a mum who decided to choose her partner over her son. He felt like there must be something wrong with him for her to do that to him. As he grew older, he tried to push these memories away and put on a brave face in front of others. But unfortunately, the pain and trauma of his childhood stayed with him. He would often have nightmares and flashbacks and consequently just felt worthless. So much so that he tried to numb the pain with sex, drugs and alcohol. He would avoid getting close to women and struggle to form healthy romantic relationships as he thought he would eventually be abandoned by them as he once was by his own mother. When he became an adult, he realized that he needed to forgive his mother for the pain she had caused him. He had heard that forgiveness was the key to healing and moving on, so he tried to forgive and forget. He told himself that he needed to let go of the past to move on, and that holding on to anger and resentment would only prolong his suffering. But what James didn't realize is that this approach only led to James repressing his emotions and not dealing or addressing with the root cause of the pain. And because of this, he would find himself being triggered by certain and things that reminded him of his childhood. And of course, because of this, he would respond to those situations with anger, raised voices, and confrontation, doing what he thought was necessary to protect himself. And after these events, James would often feel guilty for responding the way he did. And consequently, he would beat himself up, telling himself over and over that he should be over this by now, as it happened years ago. But he wasn't, so the relentless cycle continued to repeat itself. Relationship breakdown after relationship breakdown, James eventually decided to seek some help. He finally went to see a therapist and started working on his past traumas. He learned to process his feelings, validate his pain, and finally understood how his past had affected his present. He learned that it was not his fault for his stepfather's behavior or his mother's response, and it was not his responsibility to try and change either of them. He also learned to set healthy boundaries with his mother and eventually was able to let go of the resentment and and forgive her in a healthy way. Through this process, James was able to heal and move forward in a way that he never thought was possible before. And he learned that forgiving and forgetting was not the answer. Instead, it was a process of acknowledging, learning, and forgiving and remembering. And in doing this, he was finally able to form healthy romantic relationships. And because James finally decided to take action and get some support, he was able to see his past through a brand new lens. No longer did James have a victim mentality, but someone who was able to start taking ownership of his past as he realized that forgiving and forgetting was not the answer, as forgiving and forgetting was how the issues in his childhood significantly impacted his adulthood. Instead, James decided to forgive and remember. He forgave his mother, but decided to remember that his mum must have been a wounded adult to choose a man over her own son. And he decided to forgive and remember all of the mistakes that he'd made in his past relationships and and all of the people that he'd hurt along the way. And he remembers them now so that he never runs the risk of making those exact same mistakes ever again. But the real truth to this story is that I know that you know that James is just me with a wig on. But the truth is, James is me. James is my middle name. 
And this story is my story. And forgiving and forgetting is not the answer. And that's irrespective of whether you're forgiving yourself or you're forgiving somebody else. So instead, forgive and remember the people that hurt us so we don't allow them to hurt us again. And forgive and remember the pain that we've caused to others so we don't allow ourselves to hurt others again. Please leave me a comment if you've enjoyed or found value in this video. Now, this video doesn't actually cover all of the mistakes that people tend to make when it comes to self-forgiveness but this video here does exactly that. So go and watch it now as I cover all of the things that nobody seems to talk about.